announcements now. Anybody have any shout outs? Any quick things before I speak? Hey, it is Father's Day, <clears throat> graduation Sunday. We have a Zoom Bible study this Wednesday. It's based on 2 Kings chapter 5. By the way, I'm putting out the, the Zoom link. If anybody want to make sure you're included, see me, I'll make sure you're included. I also have printed out the, uh, the study sheet that goes along with the Bible study. It's on my round table in my office, and if anybody wants copies of that, just, just grab one. But we're, we're studying Naaman the Syrian, the healing of Naaman the Syrian. And we're going to have a lot of fun Wednesday night at 7 with this beautiful passage from, from, from God's Scripture. Then we're going to have another meeting in August, uh, middle of March, on the 17th. And then we're going to start meeting regularly again weekly. Um, I think it's September, Wednesday, September 14th. Today is Father's Day and graduation Sunday. Everyone here, you've got to go downstairs after the service because it's just going to be a very balanceful fellowship time. Hamburgers, hot dogs, just a bunch of really good food. Any other shout outs? Did I miss anything? Beautiful weather this weekend, huh? Amen. Okay, now shifting to prayer time. You have prayer cards in your pews. Please take the time to write out any requests you have and then place them in the offering plate. Special request today, we pray for Rob Sherman, who's in progressive care at uh, Virtue of Orgies. Uh, we continue to pray for the Edwards family. The homegoing service for Bob Edwards is Thursday at uh, Inglesby Gibbons Funeral Home in Maple Shade. 9.30 to 11 calling and 11 o'clock service. Uh, also, we rejoice. Doug Sell went home on Thursday and uh, just continues his recovery and we continue to pray for strength and blessing for Doug and Katie and Charlotte and Dutch and world. And we continue to rejoice in the miracle of his recovery and pray for God's continued strength. God is so good. Amen. God is good. Amen. So let's come before the Lord in an attitude
Just be with us and guide us and help us just to bring before you from our heart to hearts the things which concern us this morning. Whether it be a body, mind, spirit, or relationship, whatever, we bring them now before you and we honor this wonderful time of silence. your name we pray, Lord. Lord, I also pray if anyone here does not know you as their Savior and Lord, help us each to admit we need you, Lord, all of sin and fall short of the glory of God. Help us each to believe God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son so that whoever believes on him shall not perish but have eternal life. Help us to believe in you, Jesus. Help us each to call upon your name. Everyone who calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Romans 10, 13. And your word tells us to decide. To trust you. To decide. To live a new life in you. Your word says, because I am in Christ, I am altogether a new creation. The old is gone. The fresh and new has come. May it be fresh and new in each of our lives. We pray this in your name. God, we just, as we come together, we just <coughs> pray in prayer for Rob, we pray in prayer for Dina, the Edwards family. We, and I invite people to say names, and just anybody who comes to your mind who needs a special blessing for the year of the sand, the loss of sister Donna. Love you, Lord. So many people just need your blessing right now. You know, <coughs> we pray for those on our prayer list, Lord. We pray for those who are being written on prayer cards right now. We pray for unspoken needs. We love you, we need you, Jesus. God, your word says, I will instruct you, teach you the way you should go. I will counsel you with my eye upon you. We love you, Lord. Help us to follow your counsel. Help us to follow you. As we study the character of Elijah, help us to pay attention to you, Lord to your direction, to your leading in our life. We pray for our nation. We pray for the United Methodist Church. We pray for our president. We pray for our vice president. We pray for our bishop, John, our D.S. Hector. Again, we pray for the United Methodist Church. We pray that you have your hand upon us. And that you lead us in guidance. We pray a special blessing upon our graduates. And again, we pray a special blessing upon all our fa all the fathers. And men who have been like fathers to us. We love you, we need you. We pray for first responders, we pray for those in the military. We pray for the people of Uvalde, we pray for the people of Ukraine. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy upon us sinners. We ask you for the forgiveness of our sins. And we ask for the new life. Live in our hearts, Lord. Do things beyond which we can ask or imagine, because you're working in us. As you have taught us, Lord, we pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not 
not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power.